find Chrome. Boys, we're surrounded. We got it, boys. done. I, I guess I, I'm all washed up, Raymond. I'm afraid you're right. Before it's too late, Blade, tell me where can I find Chrome's hideout? Try and find out. Listen, Blade, Chrome didn't think of you when he bailed out of that ship and left you to what he thought was certain death. Bob, look! It's cold! I guess you're right, Raymond. Chrome doesn't care. He has Edmonds out. Uh, Can you give me some gas so I can get my plane back to the airport? I reckon so. We'll get every plane in the country up in the air. We'll search every foot of this land for Chrome's secret landing field. All right, Raven. Get every available ship into the air. Spare no effort to find the landing field of those smugglers. Yes, that's right. Tell them to hold the wire a minute. Hold the wire a minute. Hello, this is Sheriff speaking. Get all the National Guard ships out to help. Yes, all of them. That's right. Sheriff, you and your men conduct the ground search of the Eastern Territory. Munson, stand by the radio constantly so I can keep in touch with you. Right.
Well, Edmonds, have you decided to give me the secret of your contragraph? No, I haven't. And you're only wasting your time keeping me here. As I told you, it cannot be explained in words. There are secret chemicals and a formula locked in the vault at my airport. I would have to demonstrate it to you. Tell everybody to keep undercover and get the big car ready for a fast trip. Right. They're searching the skies for us, but they'll never find us. Captain Raymond will find you. Yes, and your very clever daughter will no doubt help him. While they're searching the skies, we'll go back over the ground. What do you mean? What's a wavelength of the radio at your laboratory? Why should I tell you? Because I can force you to. 45 meters. Call your man, Munson. Tell him you want to speak to your daughter or to Captain Raymond. Hello, Munson? Yes, yes. Is that you, Mr. Edmonds? Well, where are you? I'm at... That's enough. Ask him for the others. I want to talk to my daughter, or Captain Raymond. Why, they're up in the Phantom, sir, looking for you. I heard what he said. Hello. Hello. That's what I wanted to know. Come on. Car ready? Ready to go anywhere. You're coming with us, kid. Mr. Edmonds, hello! Hello! where he was. Munson just heard from your father, but he doesn't know where he is. At least we know he's still alive. We must continue our search. Hello, hello, Munson. I'll stay on the air in case Mr. Edmonds called you again. Lead the way to your workshop. And remember, don't try any tricks. I'll get you for this, Chrome. Do as I tell you. Now you're going to give me the secret of this discovery and invention of yours and the formula with the chemicals and instructions how to compound it. I can't do it. In your hands it'd be an agent of terrible destruction. You may not value your own life, but perhaps you do that of your daughter. You're a fiend and you'd stop at nothing. You're right. To attain my own ends, I would stop at nothing. Well, Munson won't bother us for a while, anyway. I'm willing to bargain with you. In exchange for the formula, your life and your daughter's will be spared. And you will never hear from me again. With the formula in your possession, the world would hear from you to its sorrow. I see we've got to use more strenuous means on Mr. Edmonds. Well, it's never failed yet, Chief. 
Hurry, hurry. Out with it. I realize you're desperate, Crom. And we'll go to any means to get what you want. Even though it meant to me the loss of my life's work. The secret you want is hidden in that vault. How do I open it? You don't. I alone know the secret. Go on, open it. You insist on this? Go on. You've lost the country that is beyond my reach. Get worse time than it takes to reach the open air. This place will be blown to atoms. Too late, Chrome. Just a little too late, Chrome. Some water. Mr. Edwards, what happened? Chrome tried to force me to reveal the secret of my invention. My contragram. The only way I could protect it was to blow up the place. You mean you were willing to sacrifice yourself rather than let it fall into his hands? Yes. Mr. Edmonds, you are a hero. One of the greatest of our times. Mr. Edmonds! Mr. Edmonds! Are you all right? Yes, Martin. I'm all right. Oh. And the concertgram still lives. Yes, Mr. Edmonds, the contragrad still lives. 